Hello friends, this is me Anil Polsani. Today we will see our first program from the COBOL 11 program guys. So like I said in the earlier video, this is your second video guys. Okay, this is your second video so that uh, you don't need to check the first video guys. You don't need to check the first video. This is the one which we are starting on the practical. The first video was just an introduction guys. This is the actual class that starts today. So in this particular uh, programs, guys, there are 11 programs we are supposed to write. And this is the first program. Now, all these programs are related with credit card uh, kind of uh, application, guys. Not in the real point of project, okay? In the project, you'll have hundreds of programs, guys. But I'm trying to uh, reduce to the very minimum level to 11 kind of program. So we are calling this practicals as COBOL 11 examples. So in this COBOL 11 programs, guys, we will write our first program and we'll create one of the file. Okay, we'll be using our simple accept statement. This is a simple program, guys. This is a very simple program. We'll use our Excel statement here. Using accept statement, we'll get some credit card details and we put it into a single file. Okay, we will not do any auditing. We won't do anything. Simply get the data through accept statement and put the data into a file. So we'll write a COBOL program. We will compile, we will check errors and we'll come back to the execution as well. So for this first piece, okay, to work and create this three uh, master file, okay, what we call this as the master file guys. For that, we need three programs. The first program, we will get the data as it is into the file. Second program, we will do a validation of the data and create the master file one. And third file, we will use a technique here and we'll write a logic. After that logic, whatever the output comes, that comes to your master file two. Now this file will be using for next steps, guys. So first step, let's create a file and a raw data. Okay, no auditing, just read, sorry, accept and put it into your file. So. For this, we need the master file structure, okay? This is the master file fields, which I'm taking 10 in count. Then I have the type, the size of the fields, and then a couple of details that you need to know as well, okay? So let's start writing the program. So in the first step, okay, in our first video, guys, I created this particular PDS members and all are empty as of now. So first time we are creating a first program here. This is COBOL program 01. So we'll be having 11 programs in this particular manner. So we'll start writing with the divisions guys. Okay, hope you already have very good knowledge on divisions, sections and paragraphs. So ID division, writing the program guys. Okay, it's a simple program. You just need to accept some data and create the data file guys. So then we have the author write your name here okay in this paragraph write your name here i write mine you write yours and date written as whatever the date you have mention the date of today then give a space environment division here in the environment division we'll be using the input output section in the input output section we have file control paragraph and I need only one output file, guys. So select the out file one. Okay, I'll just use a simple name, baby credit card out file one. That's what I'll be writing here so that it can be easy to understand. And assign to the out file one, out file uh, one. So eight characters there. Then it's a PS file. So we're going to mention sequential here. Access mode is also sequential. So if you see green color, guys, that's a spell of mistake here. Make it red. If you see here, that's also fine. And then over here, simply type of mistakes. And file status is the bless out status. So this will tell me what is the problem if anything happens on the file. Then we have the data division here. In the data division, I need FD, the credit card out file. That's the description I'm giving here. Credit card out file one and label records 
all standard. Then I need the structure guys. So I need the credit card out file structure layout here. And this layout contains 10 variables guys. So I'll write the sequence and then I'll copy paste from the Excel sheet. So I need 10 variables together here. All of variables are used in some of point of the logic purpose. So copy and paste. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Exactly 10 fields are there here. Give the picture class as it is as mentioned in the structure of the layout. So alphanumeric means X, numeric means 9 guys. Okay. So X of 5, that's your starting point. Then X of 10, that's your name. And then limit picture class. It's a numeric guys. So I'll be using S9 of 5, V9 of 0, 2. And then same thing, I can copy paste for other um, previous due amount paid as well. And then credit card type, picture class, X of 0, 1. But if you see here, credit card is X of 1, guys. But you need to use 88 levels as well. So I'll explain that. I'll write them as well. This is also X of 1, the reward point code. And then expiry date, we'll take it as 8 characters here. X of 0, 8. And then active indicator, this is also X of 1. And the date again. So this is my structure here. And it's not complete. It's not complete here. I just need to mention the what is my reward point code, what is my credit type code as well. So 88, this is the gold card type here with a value of 1. Then I have 88, the silver card here. This is the value of 2. You need to know the topics, guys. Okay. As I told you, we'll be covering more about the uh, in stock platinum. We'll take some other one. Uh, yeah. That you know, card also you can take, so you will be using like this. So, I was saying to you guys in this particular videos, I'll show you only the programs. Theory part, you should already have a knowledge what is the variable here, what is the meaning of x, what is the meaning of 9. These are very basics of COBOL, guys. If you already have a knowledge of them, then you can continue that uh, videos, guys. If you does not know these things, guys, then I would say. You still need some theory knowledge before you can come to here. So you need to see my other videos or you can join the training guys. Anyone which are is uh, time consumption guys. You just see as per your time you can plan it. Then I have reward point code here. This is reward of 100 points. Okay. Which is 100 to 1. If it is a reward of 100 to 1 guys. Then the value should be R. Uh, let's say we'll take alphabets here and then this is reward point so you may need to know reward points guys okay this is uh, 100 to 2 points so generally when you use any credit cards guys they will give reward points which can be encashed later so here I'm giving like this in some particular card type guys in some particular cards they use one point per 100 uh, cash or 100 transaction amount. So there are some other uh, cards, they will give more reward points. Like this, I'm trying to allocate over here the different reward points what I can have. Similarly, I need one more as well, the active indicator, whether the customer is active or not. So this is an active customer here. This field is required for your logic. This field is required for your logic and 88 inactive customer value 2. So I can write A and I also for active and inactive here. And for reward points, guys, I can use some other numbers if I want to use. But yeah, ABC will keep as it is, guys. So this is my layout for the output file. Now, in our scenario, we are writing only 10 variables, guys. But in the project, you can assume 10 into 3, 10 into 4, like 30 or 40 variables will be there. Anyway, it's just a copy paste only. Now, let's go and talk to the working storage section here. So, in the working storage section, I need these variables of input also. Okay, I need all these for input variable as well. So, I'll copy here. All of them, I'll copy here. 
and then I'll paste it in below. A for after. So this is for input layout. What is for output layout? So instead of using out file, I'll be writing output also. So this is for my input and output layouts has been defined here. Now you can use value class. Okay, if you use a value class in the working storage section, it is allowed, guys. You cannot use a value class for a variable in the uh, file section. Working storage section is fine. Now, apart from this, those are data variables, guys. Those are data variables. I need developer variables as well. Developer variable means for my logic purpose or for my technique purpose. So I need one variable to shell whether the file is opened successfully or not, whether the operations are going successfully or not. I need this variable here. I need a variable that can tell me how many records are coming into the picture or how many records came into the program. So this I can write 9 of 0 to value 0 and how many records how many records are going out also so this one will tell me how many records are successfully processed so this is part of your project scenarios guys and then i need one variable for looping also double s end of uh, double s any more rows okay any more input so this i'll use as a switch variable Okay, this I'll be using as a switch variable which helps me whether to continue the loops or not. Now I need one append variable as well. This is my training trick. Okay, this I'll use as a my training trick guys to append the programs whenever I want. Whenever we need, we can append it. Program done. So I may need more variables. Okay, I may need more variables. If I need it, it will come back and define. For now, we'll assume we have defined every variable here. And then start writing the program so in this program guys we just need to get the data and write the data into the file so accept and write that's it guys so we will accept multiple records we will accept multiple records so this is my program name that is getting started and first we need to open the files first thing is we need to open the file here so i'll be writing one paragraph to do that then i will get one record Except get input para. This is to get the record as input, and then you have process the data. So here we are not doing any logic, guys. Okay, we are not doing any logic here. We are simply writing the record into the output file, and that we until double s any more rows or any more input equal to no. So if it is Yes, the loop will run. If it is no, the loop will close. It's a switch variable, guys. Then I'll close my file, close, start out file one, and then display the counters. Total input record count, double s in red count. So this will help me to know how many records came, and this will be telling me how many records came out. So it should be same in this example. In this program guys it should be same the both input and output should be same in the audit program it may be different guys but in the simple accept and write program you should not see any difference in the count so this is my program main para here okay now if you are not understanding why i'm writing like this guys you need to check some of my other videos where i have might explain you the technique of writing project level programs okay we don't write blindly the program guys and the project we have a techniques what we call them as top-down approach modular coding so those techniques we use and design the code so this technique is already known to all of our students already most of my training programs already contain this kind of style so if you are not understanding this style today don't worry if you see a couple of more programs you will understand the style as well and understand the method as well so like i said we are not covering theory part guys this whole video is only for practical part okay now i'll be building up the initial para here okay i'll be building up the initial para here i'll on my switch saying that there are records the bless uh what is that any more input and then and now 
the next thing what I need to do is let's initialize the variables here. Mm, uh, zero, sorry, two, zero, two, double S, in rec count, double S, out rec count as well. So I'll just initialize my variables as required here. And then I'll be writing my open statement, open the credit card out file one. That's what we are trying to create. And this is the mode required. Here is output mode. Press enter. If the WS out status is equal to zero, that means successful guys. So we can tell the system to continue here. Else I can tell the system that the there is an error in 100 initial para. And then display the open error status is double s out status. This will tell me what is the problem. And I will be calling my abend program to stop the process. And if and then if the files are open successfully, I will be using initialize variable to double s. Sorry, uh, what you have here is two layouts are required here is the layout names here credit card input layout and credit card output layout so cc input layout and cc output layout we can do this in much much easier way as well but like i said now it's a beginner level guys we are writing multiple lines but if an experience will write guys we can write much easier also Mari, uh, we can do a reusability of the same codes as well now in the 200 paragraph guys in the 200 paragraph we'll be getting the input here so this is the place where we use the accept statement which can help you to get the data so we need almost 10 variables to accept here so all those 10 variables are from this pdf the excel sheet copy and paste over here now all these variables are duplicated that means the same variable is there in two groups guys so what you need to do is you need to mention of class and then mention the credit input layout so you are accepting the data in input layout that's what you need to mention here so i just need to repeat them these variables both the variables all these variables are there in two groups guys so system will get confused which variable you are talking so you need this of class and then you need to add the counter add ws12 ws indirect count so this will help you to get the counting of the records for each accept or each time you come to this paragraph now 300 paragraph is very simple guys 300 process para is very simple i'm not doing any logic here guys okay we will do the logic in the next program okay we will prepare the audit logic and validation logic in the next program this program we only get the data and write the data into a file two steps accept and write so what i will do is i'll write like this move 350 para 350 move and write para here 350 exit and then i will get the next record here so accept double s any more rows now this is a trick guys okay this is a trick to continue the loop as many times as i want so if ws any more inputs is equal to yes then i would tell the system to go and get the next record so this trick guys this trick i'll show you how i used in the jcl okay now i'm telling the system in a cobal manner but it's not finished the example in the jcl will tell you how this is working guys so 200 get input para through 200 exit and if and complete the 300 paragraph here itself so now we are done with 300 exit let's go to the 350 paragraph 350 move right para you can ask me anil why you are not writing everything here it's not like that guys okay if it is that is the simple thinking what i'm trying to make you to understand here is follow the concept what i am using okay follow the concept how anil is writing the programs with a easy step by step if you see guys for this simple program only we already almost crossed 110 lines 
but still you can understand we are taking step by step 100 para 200 para 300 para 350 para like this everything we are taking step by step that is coding methodology guys you may say that anil write everything here no you see the rest of the 10 programs you will understand the programs one by one follow the methods guys these are coding methods these are not written for fun guys even if a simple program also we will write 100 to 200 lines easily in the project we will write thousands of line program guys every project will have at least you will have some 20 to 30 thousand line program one or two will be there regular programs will be minimum thousand lines average program length will be four to five thousand lines so you are writing a two four thousand five thousand lines of program guys it will not be written as a blindfolded we follow the techniques so one of the technique what i am trained using here is modular coding plus top down approach which is the the best successful used methods in any project now i have in 350 paragraph guys all i need to do is the move statement guys okay move card number of input layout card number of input layout to card number of output layout so this will help me to move one data at a time here don't say that anil let's use group move we are not doing like that okay there are a lot of reasons why we don't use a group move in any project you're gonna need to write like this only so you're gonna repeat this easy guys repeating is easy repeat for another nine times just change the name of the variables so here it is customer name customer name over here also customer name then i have to see the variables guys okay so it's limit i'll just copy paste here and then i copy paste here then previous view okay what is the previous view of the customer in this particular card that's what you are moving over here and then previous due paid how much he paid in the last bill how much he paid in the last bill here this is of the cc so overlapped so i just copy pasted here this will be telling here of class then sorry i'm pressing f9 guys that's the reason we are getting that spool screen card type card type here so this copy paste will take a little bit time 10 times so 10 into 2 20 seconds only guys don't get frustrated there so this is reward point here of input of output and then the last variable what i have guys the card expire date the last three variables are there this is card expire date and i think i'm overlapping for every variable here this one is solving and then we have the card customer active indicator here and let me press f8 this is cast customer indicator here almost done we are almost done here and the last variable i have is the will date so this is the last will date of this particular system now i have all the variables here okay all the variables here now what i need to do is simply write the data into the output layout so cc output layout so this will go the data to the file okay this will send the data to the file like this and i need to do is check the status if out status here if the output status of the file is successful then add plus one to ws out track count so the records are now coming into the output file at this point of success if it is not successful then there is a problem here so i would say the developer to check the uh, 350 move and write para which paragraph you want to check the errors display saying that write error status is which status you are getting at this point of problem in this paragraph and then finally you can display the record also the record is which record is causing the problem so this card number of this input layout that is the one which is causing the problem 
and stop the program the records are not coming into the file so you need to stop it over here itself and then completely close the paragraph 350 exit i'm done with my program guys this is a simple accept program and then writing into the file for this guys we have written almost 120 lines of code out of that 20 lines guys all these are variables only repeated for 20 times so we have a single file and in the processor division guys in the processor division we initialized our files initialize means open the files then we got one record and started the writing to the records one by one till this switch is no once the switch is no the loop will close file will be closed counters will be displayed so let's compile this program here let's compile for this program so for compilation i need a help of the compiler so i'll get it from my another pds so i'll copy the compiler directly to our live one okay t11 is our team guys okay t11 is our team so we'll be using those data sets for our practice so 0 to 9 guys 0 to 9 will be actual training batches so T11 is our YouTube batch, guys. So this is the one compiler here. In that IGHCL, you can type. All I need to change is name of the program, COBOL program 01, T11, and T11. That's it. So I'm ready for compilation here. Let's see. This is our first program, guys. This is our first program. Let's see what happens with the compilation here. Submitting. It's going to take few seconds. Once it is done, it will get you the notification also, guys. You can go to the spool as well if you want. I got max CC 12. That means there is a mistake in our program. Now listen carefully. This is the place where we start our training as well. Anytime we write a program, guys, okay, an experience like me can write a program of 1000 lines or 2000 lines of code. A fresher like you can also write at 100 lines or 200 lines of code easily in a given time. Maybe one, two days we take extra. That's fine. But listen carefully. Anytime you write a program, guys, there will be always an error. No chance. There is no way that I can write a program of 1000 lines without mistake. There is no way, guys. Similarly, as a fresher, you will also make a lot of mistakes. An experienced like me can make a mistake. A junior fresher like you also can make a mistake, guys. The difference between you and me is the way we solve that. I know this MaxCC12. I have seen this MaxCC12 thousands of times. In this 10 or 12 years of practice, guys, I have seen this MaxCC12 for thousands of times. Now, how many times you have seen? 10 times, 20 times, 100 times. So if you have seen more times, you have solved many issues. If you have seen less times, then you have resolved only less issues. So that's the difference between me and you guys. So as long as you are practicing, you will always get errors. As long as you are getting errors, you will solve them. As long as you are solving them, guys, you will learn new things as well. So if I get MaxCC12 here, okay, I get a MaxCC12. So I'll just remove all these old issues. And just deleting the old logs that I don't want to see now. Cleaning up my spool here. So this is the one which got MaxCC12 question mark. Go to the sysprint and scroll down slowly. Okay, since you are a very small program, you can scroll down by using FX. You can see ID division, environment division, both are good guys. There is no errors in that. Okay, ID division and environment division guys has no errors at all. Data division says that Anil, there is a problem here. FD, this file name, whatever you are having, is not properly provided here under file section. So if you see here, Within data division, to mention any files, you need file section first, which is missing here. That's the error it is telling you. If you see A, E, guys, if you see this E, it's an error. If you see I, guys, it's an information you can ignore. Okay, information you can ignore. Errors you need to correct. Severe errors also you can correct. 
So it says that Anil, whenever you want to define a file, it must have a file section Anil. Okay, so I have I understood my mistake. So I'll come back here and correct it. So I'm coming down to see any other mistakes are there. Now over here I can see one mistake saying that this variable is not defined, which is saying that in rec count is not defined. What is my variable? So if you see here, I give COUNT as my variable and it is here it is giving us CNT guys. So obviously there are mismatching here. That's my second mistake. Same with the outreach field as well. Okay, these two fields are getting errors. That's fine. And then same problem for that one as well. We will change it guys. We'll change it. 300 looks good. 320, 350 paragraph looks good and one problem with the counter so there are only two issues guys there are only two issues here i'm back to my program first issue in the data division there was no file section so this is solved second issue is the variable guys the counter variables it says that anil you are used this variable but there is some other variable in the program so what i'll do i'll change all these variables okay i'll change in a better way like this wherever there is this particular syntax of COUNT and changing to CNT. So these two also now got changed properly there. So what I need to do again recompile submitting one more time here. Submitting one more time, second time. Again I got max C 12 okay. Even though we solved two of them, we assume that we have solved two of them. There might be some other mistake. So go to the spool okay. Go to the spool here this is here i think it's not the error there okay so it's a problem with the record format so just a second delete this fellow create a load data set properly my load data set format is not proper so this is the format i need to have to be creating here so just a format of the data set guys it's just a format of the data set let's recompile one more time okay let's recompile one more time and even if it is failing for 10 times guys that's what we are training here so i'm running for third time here and i see max is zero which means i have got the load module successfully getting created so this is the load module what we have for our program now the next step okay three steps for the program compile and get the load and then execute so for execution guys we need the run jcl okay this is only cobalt program we need to write the run jcl as well so that i will show it to you in the next video guys for now this is your cobalt program you can just refer to this if you have a questions put it in the youtube comments guys i will reply to you whenever i get time okay if you are trying to practice along with me and you are getting errors guys those errors also you can put it in the youtube comments but uh, i will reply very slowly guys okay i'll reply very slowly through your comments but yes if it is helping you somehow that's good okay thank you guys please subscribe to the channel okay see wait for the next video as well